In this tutorial, we are going to make a skirt with ruffle detailing. We'll create a three-tiered skirt section, learn how to scale a skirt, and create ruffle patterns. We'll also learn how to improve fabric quality and how to apply a chiffon fabric. First, download and open the ruffle skirt base from the file from the Marvelous Designer channel in Connect which can be found in the description box of this video. The basic t-shirt, pants, and skirt waist patterns have been created. For this skirt, we are going to create a skirt with a lot of gathering, so we are going to create the skirt part with a semicircle pattern. In the 2D pattern window, select the ellipse tool. While creating the pattern, press down on the Shift and Control keys to create a full circle pattern from the center point. If you start with the mouse cursor at the avatar's waist, you can estimate the length of the skirt based on the size of the circle's radius. Delete the leftmost point because we're going to make it into a half circle. In the center, we'll create a curved line for the waistline. Use the Add Point Split Line tool to create a center point using the Smart Guideline as a reference. Select the Internal Ellipse tool and click and drag from the center point to create a waist curve. Again, press Ctrl and Shift to create an internal circle around that center point. Sew the waistlines with the Free Sewing tool. Place and simulate the skirt pattern in the 3D window. Resize the pattern to get the desired length. To create the ruffle pattern, rearrange the skirt pattern with the Reset 3D Arrangement selected menu. Ruffles are easier to attach to flat patterns. Deactivate the avatar's arms and hide the avatar. Cut out the waistline and delete the remaining pattern. Let's create the ruffle lines for the skirt next. Select the waistline and hem lines and use the offset as internal line along a curve menu to add the two internal lines. Let's create the ruffle pattern next. Use the offset as internal line menu to create internal lines on both sides of the internal shape that we created. These are the lines that the ruffles will sew onto. For distance, enter the desired width of the ruffle pattern. I'll enter 20 millimeters here. To create a line on the opposite side, change the reverse direction setting. Use the Layer Clone Over option in the menu to clone the pattern on the face side of the original pattern. Use the Remove Linked Editing menu to delete the instance links between those two pieces. Select the lines that will become the ruffle patterns and right-click, choose Cut. Delete the excess patterns, leaving only the items that will become the ruffles. Freeze the skirt pattern itself while you create these ruffles next. Increase the size of the ruffle pattern and then simulate. If you're not happy with the simulation results, press Ctrl Z and return to the pre-simulation state, then resize and then simulate again. Let's modify the width of the ruffles. Select the outline that you want to modify and then select the offset pattern outline menu. In the extend option, enter the value that you want to change.
This time, let's decrease the width. Select the Retract option and enter the desired value. This way, we can adjust the width of the ruffle. The quality of the ruffles will be better with a lower particle distance, but we will leave the particle distance at 20 for now to save time during creation. Here, let's delete any unnecessary sewing lines. After unfreezing the skirt pattern, sew the waistline. Clone the skirt patterns and then sew them together. Bring back the avatar into view by using the Show Avatar menu. Then use the Activate Avatar menu to activate the avatar's arms again. Set the skirt pattern to a particle distance of 10 and then the ruffles to a particle distance of 5 for a better simulation quality. Let's use the elastic menu for the gathering or shirring. By applying elastic to those ruffle lines, we can create a more pulled in or gathered looking crease. To enter a different value, press Ctrl Z to return to the original selection and then enter a different number. Next, we assign it as a new fabric and set it to chiffon. And this is how you can create a skirt with ruffles. Thank you for watching.